What are those? Ground cherry. <laughs> Ground cherry. Welcome back to the heart of home where we are currently standing in the heart of this home however it is unfinished because we're in the middle of a complete home renovation i just wanted to bring you guys along with me today we've got quite a few things that we're doing so my husband and his father actually installed our brand new stove which is still dirty from breakfast this morning so grace um but the brand new stove that is seriously this was my dream stove we got a great deal on this stove and it's one of those things where I was like hmm I don't really want to spend a lot of money on something like a stove but on the same hand we got it like 60% off so it really would have been very close to a price of um, like in a reasonably priced stove so I bought a six top gas burner stove I have not used the actual oven part yet so I am doing that today um, you might see here I actually have a loaf of sourdough starting I have not cooked a sourdough loaf in over a year, which if you know me personally, you know that's a big deal. <laughs> um, I really tried my best to figure out a sourdough recipe that worked in a toaster oven, which is the only kind of oven we've been able to use the last year as we've been renovating. Um, however, it just, I was met with a lot of failure and failure is the best teacher. However, failure was not a friend of mine. We did a lot of sandwich breads in the oven, which is fine, but I am really ready for my go-to recipe of a sourdough loaf, which I need a regular oven and a Dutch oven to cook in. done but in the meantime we are gonna go to the farmer's market here where we live and see what produce we can get because now that my stove is working I have got just a canning bug and so I need to get my fill before we leave for Hawaii here in a few days. Hey you, what? you ready for the farmer's market? Yes. Yeah? yeah. got all of our stuff and we are headed down the road to the farmer's market. I'll probably just give you a few glimpses of different stands that we really enjoy to give you a taste of what this small city's little farmer's market is truly like. $63, which is a win. We got all of the supplies that I need to um, do some salsa and some other canning stuff today. Silas got his banana bread. He always wants a bag of popcorn, which is like five to ten dollars depending on the size that they have. So I was thinking ahead this time and I actually brought a goodie bag of popcorn that we got from previous weeks. 
Um, and then I also made the honey lemonade that I always tend to buy beforehand. So we saved some money there, though we did just send, spend it back in treats because now we're gonna sit in the shade, eat our treats, and then run some more errands. It's time to head home and fold and stretch our sourdough. Caleb actually just called me, and so we have to make a pit stop at the armory. <laughs> All right, we are back, and I gotta show you guys something. It's not very often that Silas takes naps anymore, so I definitely don't interrupt them when they do happen. So the majority of this, I actually got at the farmer's market this morning. There's a few banana peppers and lunchbox peppers um, that I didn't get this morning, but I got a bunch of Romas. I've got a few slicer tomatoes. We got shishito, which these are actually one of my favorite peppers to grow. I learned from uh, Jess from Roots and Refuge about just um, blistering these in a cast iron skillet with some butter and they are so good. Um, some sweet peppers to stuff. I've got these really pretty looking uh, bell peppers. I should have asked them what variety this was. That's the only unfortunate side of the people that I get a lot of my produce from at the farmer's market is they don't have them labeled what variety they are. Um, lunchbox, banana, sweet onions. We've got some beets here to make some more beet kvass here in a little while. Some jalapenos and some serrano peppers. Also, can we give my husband just a little round of applause? Bare hand customs. <laughs> he made this cutting board. So we've only got about 40 minutes before I have to leave again to go get lunch with a dear friend of mine. I think I'm just gonna make some quick salsa real quick just to keep in the fridge. And then we'll get to canning. So I actually keep all of my vegetable scraps for the most part the skins of the garlic, the skins of these onions, the tops of the peppers that I'm cutting, I'm keeping all of them and throwing them in a freezer gallon bag. And the reason that I've been doing that for the last few months is because I knew at some point my stove would be hooked back up, my stock pot would be unburied from the storage unit, and I could make vegetable stock. So we won't be doing that today, but we will be doing that on a different video, and I will film that step-by-step -step for you guys. and some cucumbers with lime, salt, pepper, and cumin. Here we go. Mm. And garlic. That is delicious. It is time to load up the kid and head to lunch. So I gotta quit eating this because I don't want to spoil my lunch. You know, the more I leave my house as a stay-at-home mom, as a stay-at-home mom, the more I just want to stay at home. <laughs> Decided that I would take Silas to the park, to the park near our house to give him just a little bit of him time, not feeling like he's being drug around. That is the hardest thing about when we have errands to run or things to do is he's literally just being drugged from place to place to place to place to place. And so I'm trying to be intentional today in the midst of having all of these things to do between in the kitchen cooking and farmer's markets and running to lunch and running um, to get our bike and all sorts of things. Um, to be intentional about giving my three-year-old just some of his own time to just play. You did it! Woohoo! Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Silas, Silas, Silas! Whoa! Let's do it again! Yeah! It's been a few hours. I have my salsa canned and one just popped. I was really hoping that I caught it on camera, but I don't think I did. 
Um, I've got my beets that are about to go into the stock pot to be water bathed. And then I'm doing some cowboy candy or just candied jalapenos and onions. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope that a video like this is encouraging to other stay-at-home moms, um, just to see that I'm a regular mom, having a regular life, doing regular things on a Saturday, and working my tail end off just to make, make things happen, so. I got all of my canning done. I've never had a gas stove, and I am quickly learning that a gas stove does not warm up as quickly as an electric stove, um, which I think I knew at one point, but I completely forgot. So it's still warming up. My sourdough bread is looking quite well. So it is definitely ready. It's not overproofed, it's not underproofed. It's just right at the prime time to get cooking. So I'm not worried about it. However, I have a, another can just popped. Woohoo! <laughs> There's another one. Awesome. Um, but I've got a ton of laundry I need to go do. So I'm going to go do that and I'm going to sign off here and I'll give you a little snippet of my sourdough loaf in three, two, one.